Well, the engine finally arrived today for my 35% Cessna, my Tommy Cessna, TMMY Cessna. This came all the way from the Czech Republic, uh, made by Roto Motor. It's a 170cc four stroke, four cylinder opposed boxer type engine. Been waiting three years for this thing to be completed. Looks like they x rayed this at customs. I don't think the x raying would hurt it, but just to point out, so this is the way it looked when I got it. Haven't even opened it yet. Box is in pretty good condition, coming from all the way to the other side of the world. All right, so. Let's see. A little bit of packing material. Alright, so it's double boxed, I guess. Oh, look at that. It's like in a suitcase. That's pretty cool. I did not expect that. That is gnarly. It's got its own special box that it's. Pretty uh, pretty high end when you see that. Even my 3W engine from Germany didn't have such a thing. So this engine was 2,500 euros, 2,499 really. So, if you do the conversion from dollars to euros, you can find out how much that was. Because it changes every day, so. Yeah, impressive. Nice wooden box. That is really cool. So here we go, the first time open. Ah, oh, sweet. I don't see my, oh yeah, there it is, I think. I ordered a prop drill guide. No, well, I don't see that. Hope they didn't forget it. There it is in there in all its glory. What a beauty. Let's see if we can get it out of there carefully. Oh, look at that bad boy. It's been test run at factory and you can smell the fuel a slight amount of residue in the exhaust ports which you would expect but it's a beautiful looking engine see this is the latest uh, design for the intake manifolds they had several different running designs on that but this looks like the best with the dual carbs I think they had a single carb on it at one time but this is the way it currently works, and I like it better this way. Nice velocity stacks. So that's the engine. Very nice. There's one of the ignitions, so the other ignition. The little pickup for the ignitions go on the back here, right there and there. So it's one quarter turn on the camshaft apart, which would be a half a turn on the crankshaft. So it's gonna be, you know, fire one side and then the other side, or one and the other like that and that, depending on how the crank is designed, but it's pretty cool. So. See if they put my prop drill guide in there. Got some exhaust stuff. I guess these are the actual exhaust pipes they use. You can see it's still got the, I believe it has the residue, maybe not. Well, maybe they use one at the factory and they don't use it over. Oh yeah, these are brand new, so that's cool. Never been used. Ah, there's the prop drill guide. They didn't forget it. Now, they didn't list this prop drill guide 
on their website. They listed one for the 85 uh, cc motor, but I assumed that it was the same as this, and I hope I'm right about that. Yep. It's the same one. They don't say anywhere on their website that they offer this or, or one for this motor, but if you look at the 85cc that they have, it's basically the same motor with just two two less cylinders, you know. And uh, the front hub looked the same, so I took a chance that it would be the exact same pattern, six bolt pattern, and it is, so. It's pretty nice looking, I gotta admit that the quality is very good from what I can see so far and all CNC and everything, it's really nice. I guess this part is obviously cast. But yeah, it's impressive. So what else did they give me with it? We got a little spark plug wrench, some zip ties, and the other two exhaust couplers, which I don't think I'll be using. So you have to make up your own muffler system, or they have some kind of muffler. Is the other only other thing they give you here. This is the drain hose that attaches to the crankcase breather at the back of the engine. We'll see. But I am pretty impressed, especially with that case that it comes in. I would not have. Imagine such a nice case. So there you go, the unboxing of the Roto Motor 170 FS 170 four stroke. I don't like the way two strokes sound. They just don't sound realistic to me at all. They're great motors, two strokes make a lot of power, but it just doesn't sound it sounds like a chainsaw, it doesn't sound like a a real plane. So this should really give a better sound and uh, more realism, which I always like to get realism out of my models if possible. So, all right. Check the video description for links to the motor and where you can get it and any other information that I'll put in there. And be sure to check out my other videos. I'm going to have a build, finish the build video of the plane and lots of running videos and everything. So, there you have it. Cool.